Whoa, yeah, swear to God I'm with it I don't see nobody in my lane It's quite go get it like me Whoa, please don't be wasting my time with that business Who are you kidding, man? Yeah, 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 yeah Alright you guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video and welcome back to the top 100 players of 2019. Uh, we're at number 7, his name's AB, Antonio Brown, we all know AB, he's, he's transferred to the Raiders now and he's currently going through some shit with his feet, I think, and also some helmet disputes. But by the time you see this video, the season will already have been started and hopefully he's killing it. Hopefully all these players are killing it because it is still pre-season. I think it's the third week of preseason games this weekend. And just to keep this legit, the date is the 20th of August. So wherever you are in the world, whatever day it is, thanks for being here. Fundamentally, that's, that's, that's what I want to say. I want to say thanks for being here. I want to say let's enjoy this video. Let's check out AB. Five minutes and 27 seconds long. Let's do this shit. The quicker you're here, the faster you go. That's why where I come from, the only thing we know is... Toughest guy I've covered, um, Tony Brown. And man, AB the GOAT. Uh, he better be number one on the list. Get Tony Brown the GOAT, baby! Let's go! Boomin'! <laughs> Boomin'? Was it? Still top 10. Now, I, <laughs> I, I actually watched um, Hard Knocks, first couple of episodes, and uh, I saw Derek Carr talk about AB before, like a, probably a couple, I think it was a couple of years before this, this trade actually happened, and they came together for the Pro Bowl. And I think AB might have said to him before the game, he said, look, just fire it off and I'll, I'll go get it. Just throw it, sling it, and I'll go get it, you know? Throw it and I'll go get it. I don't know the word that he said. Sling it, fire it, throw it, whatever. And uh, and that's exactly what he did. And Derek Carr threw the ball and Antonio Brown went and got it. And I think Derek Carr went over to him after the play and said, man, wouldn't it be good to be able to do this in the league? For real, you know, in an actual NFL game. And they said, yeah, it would be. And lo and behold, that's what's happening. But the shit thing is, is that they haven't even been able to practice together yet. And it's the third week of the, of the preseason because of these issues that Antonio Brown keeps having. So he keeps taking himself away from the practice field. But one thing that I did respect was the fact that Antonio Brown actually went and wants to be involved in Derek Carr's life outside of football. And that's what real, like, you know, good teammates are like. Especially if you're a quarterback throwing to a receiver. You guys want to be like this. You know what I mean? So I think that's what we're going to see here. <laughs> what? He came to training camp in a helicopter. Yeah. He still performs like a star. Flash over the And in the end zone, Antonio Brown pulls it in. Once again, AB shows why he's the best receiver in the NFL. He's a beast, man. And he just puts fear in a guy. I love, I love Keenan Allen. I've got to say, his footwork is magical. This by waking up. I just feel like he's in better shape than everybody. He's Probably the, the most memorable footwork I've seen in this entire list was Keenan Allen. Not even going to lie. I'm a tough, tough little sucker. Probably the best wide receiver in this league. And, um, he's just so good at everything. Can run deep routes, judge the ball great. So what about Julio Jones or DeAndre Hopkins? Let me know down in, let me know in the comment section below guys which out of these three receivers are your favorite DeAndre Hopkins, Julio Jones, Antonio Brown or Odell Beckham Jr. How how long was that reception? That's 
That's a 45 yard catch. Right on the money. Oh, did you see that stutter step? That was insane. Of course you thought he was cutting inside, but no, he's not. Shit, man. Antonio Brown's like, he's like a magician or something. Like, he disappears, reappears, the ball's in his hand, disappears, and then so I don't know. Maybe by himself on Brent Grimes. Maybe he puts a little move on Brent Grimes. Brent gets nothing but grass, and all of a sudden, he gets off the race. I think of him as unstoppable. You know, the game is like, if you're down, you can count on him making a big play. The Bengals just scored, and ran to Cincinnati. You hear AB, it's like, this is when the goat comes alive. 15 seconds to go. Short route. Short slant route. Route. It was a normal play. It was a quick screen. Uh, he just made one cut and scored so fast. It was a one-on-one -on -one and he never loses it though. He's fast, man. Definitely quick. Hey! That's it. That's it. So many plays, just a little bit outside or a little bit inside or a little bit. Hey, hey, where are you going, boy? Catch here. See how? See, man, that that just looked too easy because the defender is expecting him to to do this amazing intricate move, but really, he didn't even need to do it. So many plays. Just a little bit outside, or a little bit inside, or a little bit too late. Look at that, man. Our catch here. They've got so much respect for him and his moves that they're going to hang off him like that, aren't they? A 25-yard game here. Last year, Brown and Ben Roethlisberger moved into second. One thing I did learn off of AB, and I'll never forget this, is the place and drag. And when I see a catch that's close to the sideline now, I always think, I always look at the feet, I think, did they play some drag? And usually if it's in, if it looks like it's out, but the, 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 um, the umpire calls it in, there's always some form of place and drag going on, isn't there? Place, you get that first foot inside the line, and just try and drag that second one along the ground somehow, some way. It was great. I, it was, I mean... I thought it was genius when I first saw it. The Place and Drag by Tony Totap, AB. Behind only Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison for the most completions by their quarterback receiver tandem in NFL history. What? Ben Roethlisberger moved into second place behind only Peyton Manning and Marvin Harrison for the most completions by their quarterback receiver tandem in NFL history. Wow! Roethlisberger to AB. The second most completions in NFL history? How long did they play with each other for? Somebody told me once that AB doesn't have a route tree. Because he's not going to throw the ball to Big Ben. He has his own form of backyard football because no one around, but Big Ben keeps plays alive and they don't stop. For most of 2018, the connection between Brown and Roethlisberger seemed just as strong as ever. Oh, he works and wants to go on, up again. He finally goes on, his man wide open, and that is him to the Brown had 100 receptions for an NFL record six straight year and led the league with a career. <laughs> Ramsey! Ramsey! <laughs> oh, mate, I'll always laugh. I'll always laugh because I'm imagining what Ramsey's saying to himself. I'm actually imagining what the crowd is saying to Ramsey when he misses a tackle like that. Come on! <laughs> I love it, man. Okay. But the Steelers lost. Brown was benched in the finale.
finale for skipping practice. Then he was traded. He skipped practice, really? Man, all I gotta say, <laughs> all I gotta say about John Gruden is uh, I watched the first couple of episodes of Hard Knocks, like I said, and uh, there's one part where he's addressing the the guys at the start after the first week of of camp. He's coming into the second week. He says, "Look, we need to step it up, guys. We need to step it up. I need more from you." I need more execution. I need more fucking execution. <laughs> and I was like, wow, wowee, he's got my attention now. But more than anything, I want better execution. Are we clear on that? I want better fucking execution. I love him. Man, that just makes me keen to get out there. Seeing him on that training field, doing that ladder drill, and then catching that slot, that, that slant, and just bursting off down the field. Being at training, man, that's the happiest I can ever be in my entire life. Put my boots on, get some sort of ball in my hand, start running around, that's me. I'm happy. That is my ecstasy. It really is. Anyways, guys. Wow, I don't know how long that video went for. It probably went for a good 15 minutes, but that was Antonio Brown. In the next one, I don't even know who it is. It's got to be like, well, I was going to say it's got to be Tom Brady, surely. Someone like that. Case and it is. Number six. He was number one last year. Six more players to go, guys. Six more players to go. We've got Todd Gurley next up. He must be the top running back, which is exciting. So we've got Tom Brady. We've got Todd Gurley. Do I look who's next after that? No, we're not going to do that. We're going to keep it a surprise. So with that being said, guys, thanks for being here. Hit the like button if you've liked the video. Subscribe for more. And I'll see you back here shortly. We're doing this, man. Anyone who doubted me, don't doubt me, guys. Don't doubt me. When I've got a mission, don't doubt me. Okay? When I say I'm going to do something, I do it. And... Uh, that includes this top 100 series of 2009. I think, regardless of what happens on this YouTube channel, regardless of where I am, regardless of whether I'm making videos or not, I'm going to come back to this channel every single year and react to the top 100 players of that year. And you can, you can guarantee that, guys. So if you, want to, if you want to leave for six months, if you want to leave for nine months, do it. Come back each year. Come back each year. Join me for Rugby Player Reacts to the NFL's top 100 players of whatever year it is. 2020, 2021, 2022, 2023, and so on. I'll still be here in 10 years. Will you? <laughs> Peace out.